The Untold Truth of the Last Alaskan Star, Heimel Korth. Heimel Korth is an American trapper, outdoorsman, and TV personality born on the 17th of April, 1955, in Appleton, Wisconsin, USA. He's known for appearing in the reality TV series, The Last Alaskans. Although Hamo's parents' names are undisclosed, it's known that they weren't particularly interested in spending time outdoors. Although Hamo's father was raised on a farm, he never developed skills in hunting, trapping, or fishing. This didn't stop Hamo, though, as he grew more attracted to the peaceful outdoors than living in a city, saying, we lived at the edge of town, and I could walk a block away and be in a farmer's field with dairy cows around. So instead of going into town, I always went out of town. There weren't any cars there, but there were woods to play in. Probably 60% of the time, I'd go by myself. I loved it, but I couldn't find anyone who wanted to go out with me. Based on this, it's possible that Hamo was an only child. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad mini or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. There's no mention of any siblings nor about his education. Feeling out of place in his hometown, in 1973, Hamel left Appleton to start his own adventure at 18 years old in northwestern Canada, finding his first job away from home as a hunter's guide's assistant, but barely earning enough money to rent a room and buy food. It was then he started looking out for job opportunities as a trapper, and his boss offered to fly him to his abandoned trapping cabin in Alaska. However, Court's lack of experience made his stay more difficult than he initially thought. I was a Chicago, he said, a rookie newcomer outdoorsman. I had a difficult time, lost a bunch of my food, and fell through the ice. Not knowing what to do, Korth wrote a letter to his former boss explaining his predicament. Help came to him unexpectedly, though, when the man replied with a $500 check. Korth could provide himself with more equipment to sustain his trapping adventure, or go back to work with a guide on Lawrence Island, to where he had recently moved. For Hamo, the answer was easy. Therefore, he traveled to the Bering Seas Island, settling in Savunga Town. It was in this place that he met Edna Rose who would become his wife years later. Hamo eventually moved to Brook Range, settling along the Colleen River, where he built the house he would live in for years. In his words, in the small cabin, I couldn't even stand up straight because the roof was so low. In the late 1970s, Edna visited Hamo in his mountain cabin, and he was encouraged to put the house together for her, but later recalled, and Edna got out there and told me later in her mind, what am I doing out here? This is crazy but she gave me direct orders to raise the roof. A week before winter, I worked like crazy man to raise the house up. I just got it up before the snow. Edna and Hamo married in the early 1980s, around six years after their first meeting. Edna already had a daughter named Millie from a previous relationship. Hamo and the now Mrs. Korth welcomed their first daughter together, Colleen Ann Korth, on the 29th of May, 1982. Unfortunately, on the 3rd of June in 1984, the young child died in an accident when the boat her family was traveling in was overturned by Colleen River's current. She was swept away by the water, and her body was never found. Despite this tragic event, Hamo and Edna didn't renounce their self-sustainable lifestyle away from civilization, and eventually had two other daughters named Kryn and Rhonda, and set a family tradition to visit the top of a hill where they planted a cross in memory of their late child saying, to this day, many times when I'm walking by myself, or me and Edna will be walking somewhere, and even though it was 30 years ago, tears will fall from our eyes out of the blue when thinking about it, and it's hard. Despite facing many hardships along the way, Hamo Korth is proud of how his life turned to be. Living off the land in the mountains, feeling he's preserving a tradition thousands of years old, it was an adventure, but now it turned into a way of life. Despite Kors three daughters growing up in the Alaskan wilderness, the girls moved to Fairbanks City once they became adults. It's unknown if new generations are going to follow Hamo's tradition to live in the mountains, but their youngest child, Kryn, plans to move in close to her parents with her husband and son, Colby. Hamo Port's first appearance on TV was in 1992 when he was cast in Braving Alaska. The reality movie premiered on National Geographic. Initially, he wasn't sure about appearing in it, thinking producers were going to portray his lifestyle in the mountains in a negative way. 
He later changed his mind, though, liking the resulting movie. In 2003, Hamill's cousin and writer James Campbell contacted him through letter, asking to write a book based on his life. Initially, Hamo answered with a negative, but was soon convinced to give Campbell an opportunity. So James traveled from Wisconsin to stay with Court's family for an entire season, experiencing their daily life and the harsh Alaskan weather. In 2004, Campbell's book entitled The Final Frontiersman, Hamel Korth and his family, alone in Alaska's Arctic wilderness, was published receiving positive reviews. Nine, short TV network VBS produced a clip centered on Korth's family. Then, in 2012, Hamo appeared in the series Flying Wild Alaska, when he inadvertently contacted the show's star as a pilot to fly the crew to Fairbanks. Korth and his family became stars of the reality TV series The Last Alaskans in 2015. The show is centered on various families living in isolation in Alaska's wilderness. Not only are these families' remote living conditions interesting for viewers, the fact that they live in Arctic National Wildlife Refuge is attractive to audiences as well. In 1980, families living there, including Quartz, were granted permits by government to remain in this protected area. However, in an attempt to protect this natural refuge, government banned other human occupation in it. As Korth explained to Seat 42F, a newcomer cannot come in there and do what we are doing now. It is in the law. The people that were there prior to it being refuge, there were seven of us. The federal government allowed us to stay and to live the lifestyle. He continued, explaining permits will last until death of his younger child, but will not extend to his grandchildren. The Last Alaskans aired for four seasons. As of mid-2020, Hamel Korth's estimated net worth is $150,000, largely as a result of his various appearances on TV. Hamo is a man of white ethnicity who sports a bushy beard and bald head. There's no information about his weight and height. Other information about the courts include Hamo's wife, Edna, being native Alaskan. Hamo's longtime friend and fellow star of The Alaskan People, Bob Hart, died in 2017 after battling with cancer for years. His last request to court was to take care of his cabin. Although Bob Hart's death was painful for his family and friends, it helped Korth to reflect on it, saying, I realize death is a part of life. Part of this place is gone, something's missing, and Bob's gone. I'm sure in spirit he's still here. Someday, I gotta go too. Hamo Korth plans on living in Alaska's mountains until his death. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.